Yeah, it's a really interesting thought that, you know, whenever you're imagining nothing, you're you're taking something and you're adding imagination to it in order to kind of negate it. But there's there's also a sense, I would say, in which, you know, instead of trying to imagine just a completely empty void, if we just think in terms of lack, in terms of formlessness, there's there's something to that too, right? You know, a blank canvas in some sense, has every possible painting within its, you know, just white canvas. It's not yet been um, concretized yet. It's not yet been decided what, what it's going to be. And so it's kind of everything. So there's a weird sense here in which chaos transcends order because chaos is in some sense always going to be more than the order that is imposed upon it but then there's you know you can you can always flip this around and turn it into a weird loop you could be like okay well where is the order before it uh, informs the chaos and and you could say well i mean if it's going to be anywhere that it's got to be in that chaos it's just yet to be revealed it's the david that has yet to be liberated from the marble by the hammer and chisel yet and so there's this weird interpenetration there of form and formlessness being and nothingness, order and chaos. Uh, and and this is interesting uh, because I feel like there's there's this kind of dual fixation if you if you look at these these really um maybe misguided strivings towards the transcendental 